All right, today I'm gonna to teach you how to make five meals in one pot. Each meal has 800 calories and 50 grams of protein. These Masaman chicken curry rice bowls are absolutely insanely delicious and super easy to make. And as always, I have the screenshot up here. Just search in my fitness pal, Flavor Fit Food, Masaman chicken curry rice bowl, and I make tracking your calories and macros, whether you're trying to build muscle or lose body fat as easy and efficient as possible. So make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's get into this meal prep video. First thing you're gonna need is two medium carrots. Just gonna peel them with our peeler. Once you have both of them peeled, we're just gonna slice them into about quarter inch slices. When you get down to the thicker side, you can split it in half and then just slice it into quarter inch half moons. So once you get both of your carrots all cut up, we're just gonna set them aside uh, on this plate and we're gonna use them later in the recipe. The next ingredient we're gonna prep, we have one pound of Yukon Gold potatoes. So I'm just gonna slice these into about half inch slices, spin them around, and we're gonna dice them into about uh, one half inch cubes. So as we get these into our cubes, we are just going to set them aside on the plate with our carrots, continue until all of them are diced up and everything looks like this and we are ready for the next step. Next up, we're gonna take one white onion, just cut both ends off, the root end and the top end, split it in half right down the middle, and then peel the outermost layer. Once you have it peeled, just spin it around and slice it into one quarter inch slices. So take your time, get nice slices, and then we're gonna set it aside in this bowl. Now we have one pound of chicken breast that I let sit in the freezer for about 20 minutes to make it easier to slice. So I'm just gonna cut it in half, and now we're gonna cut it down into nice little bite size slices. Once you have all of your chicken sliced up, just go ahead and throw it in the bowl with your white onions. We are almost done getting the mise en place together. Last thing, we have two tablespoons of brown sugar. I like this uh, red boat fish sauce. We're gonna do one tablespoon of red boat fish sauce, and then we're gonna do one tablespoon of Worcestershire, and then we're gonna take the juice of one whole lime, and then we're gonna set this bowl aside, and we are pretty much ready to start cooking. Now it's time to throw down and make your house smell delicious. You're gonna need some of this Masri Masaman curry paste. I will link it in the description. I have my pan on medium, and we are gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil and the entire contents of this curry paste. Make sure you get it all in there. Your house is gonna start smelling absolutely amazing, and we're gonna toast this curry paste for about two minutes until it looks like this, just a little dark and sweat and has released its oils and aromas. Then we're gonna take one can of full fat coconut milk, add the entire can of coconut milk, and then I just dumped the contents of that bowl with the brown sugar, fish sauce, Worcestershire, and lime juice into my pot. And now we're just gonna bring that up to a simmer, and then we're going to add all of the chicken and all of the white onion into our Dutch oven. Make sure to stir it up, make sure everything's evenly distributed. And then once everything is in there and once everything's distributed, we are going to simmer it for about 10 to 12 minutes or until your chicken is white and cooked completely through. Now add one cup of chicken broth and another flavor bomb coming in hot, one tablespoon of creamy peanut butter. So tons of flavor. You're probably drooling into the pot right now. Just keep it together. We are almost there. Make sure to incorporate everything and now add in your carrot and your potatoes. Stir it around, make sure everything is nice and homogenous. Bring it up to a simmer, and then we are gonna slap a lid on it for about 20 minutes. Once the lid comes off, you can see everything was at a nice rolling boil in there. The vegetables should be pretty much cooked, uh, but we're just gonna leave the lid off and simmer it down to your desired consistency. The starches from the potatoes will thicken it up, as you can see here. It is rich, it is velvety, it is luscious, and it is smelling absolutely amazing. It looks amazing. So now we are going to assemble our rice bowls in our meal prep containers. I've got my five meal prep containers here. I'm just gonna take a ladle and evenly distribute the entirety of the pot into all of the containers. If you were really being diligent about counting your calories like you're cutting or something, you could weigh uh, the finished recipe and divide it by five in grams and that would give you a more accurate description But I think just eyeballing it is fine And then we are going to add one cup of cooked white rice to each of our meal prep bowls 
And then we have some fresh cilantro. You don't have to do this, but I highly, highly recommend adding some fresh sprigs of cilantro on these bowls. And now they are complete. One thing I like to do for no added calories, I like to drizzle them with sriracha, make it just a little spicier. But these are ready for you to smash. All right, and I am here with the finished product. Looks and smells absolutely amazing. And I am about to take one down. So I hope you like the video. Like I said, make sure to like and subscribe. This meal works really well. Uh, if you're trying to build muscle, you can eat it for lunch. You can eat it for dinner. You could even throw a fried egg on it and call it breakfast. I might do that with one of these. If you're trying to lose fat, I would probably eat it for dinner, maybe fast throughout the day. 800 calories, you could have that as a bigger dinner and some sort of two, three, 400 calorie dessert and probably still be in a deficit. So that's what I do. I'm lean bulking right now. So I'm gonna probably eat these for lunch and dinner in the next few days, but they're absolutely delicious. The smell is amazing and you're going to absolutely love them. Catch you next time.